Do you want the smooth lens blur to make your edits look way better? Well, don't worry, because today I will show you step by step everything you need to know and how you can do it in After Effects within two minutes. To start, get your clip that you want to put the lens blur on. I selected two from Joker right here just to show you. Once that's done, we're going to head to our right and open our effects and presets panel and search for the effect called BCC lens blur obs once you've gotten that just drag it onto your clip and as you can see it already blurred the picture but we're going to change the settings a bit to make it look way better basically all we got to do is put the gamma scale from 220 all the way up to 1000 and now we're going to set a keyframe for the iris scale at the very first frame of your clip and put the value from 15 up to 20. now go to the end of the clip and set the value for the keyframe down to zero now press U to bring up the keyframes and you can see both are right here. Now we're going to add a graph to make it look smoother. To do that, we're going to select both keyframes and easy ease them by pressing right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Now you can open your graph editor and I'll just copy my graph. Now if the blur amount is a bit too much for your liking, don't be afraid to go ahead and change the iris scale amount a bit. Just play around with it till it fits your liking. And now what we want to do if we have multiple clips, we're just going to select our keyframes, then copy the effect from here by pressing Ctrl and C and go to our next clip and just paste it by pressing Ctrl and V. As you can see, you have the same effect on this clip as well now. If your keyframes don't fit your clip, don't be worried, just select both of them. And then while pressing down Alt on your keyboard, drag them till they fit your clip. Once that's done, you're good to go. Just make sure to take a final look at it and check if everything worked out. For me, this is the final result. Also make sure to not forget to add a coloring. If you want my exact coloring that I use for my edits to boost the quality to the maximum, make sure to check out the first link in the description because I'm running a huge sale on my shop right now. You can get all my presets for way cheaper than usual, so don't miss out. Also, if this tutorial helped you, I would appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and leave a comment. You can also check out my Discord. I made a huge Discord with editors on them. You can ask me questions or just get in touch with me. The link to that is also in the description. Thank you for watching and see you next time.